Didn't do as bad as I was afraid I would. I can't believe Emma and Machias tied for the top score. Congrats, Machias. You always put up some impressive numbers. <laughs> Looks like you made good on your word after all. I suppose. Emma's the real natural, though. Oh, not at all. We both just really hit those books this last month. Everyone did so well! Agreed. I scored higher this last time than I did on the entrance exam. I suppose I'll have to settle for third this time. <laughs> you make it look easy, Yusis. You must have really buckled down on your studies too, Reen. Landing in the top ten like that? Well, you all helped me out a lot. And you know what they say about a rising tide lifting all boats. I feel a bit left out. You did really well, Fee. You must have had all the basics down pretty well to have scored like you did. If you can build on that in the next exam, I have no doubts you'll be able to score even higher. I guess. If I feel like it. By the way, there's something posted up over there. Oh, wow! It seems Class 7 had the highest average score. Excellent! I figure that might be the case, considering we have the Academy's top three high scorers. <laughs> you talk as if a class I'm a member of could possibly fail to place first. Why do you always have to be so full of yourself? Boys, boys! I think we should be proud of what we've accomplished. Me too. Good work, everyone. Hip, hip, hooray. Humiliating. How could the pride of the Empire's nobility lose to those plebeians? And Elisa, thinking she could hide her roots that easily. you all the overachievers. Congrats on your amazing performance on the midterms. I'll cherish that grumpy look on the vice principal's face forever. That'll teach him to poke his nose into my business. We didn't do all that work just so you could stick it to him, you know. Besides, you bring most of it on yourself. Ugh, I'm always tromping around like he owns the place with that smarmy mustache of his. It's one thing to gripe about work. But where does he get off telling me what to wear and how to behave in a bar? Now he keeps telling me I need to hurry up and get married. Yeah, I'll marry my foot to your face, jackass. <clears throat> anyway, is everyone ready to leap boldly into this month's practical exam? I'm fully prepared, Instructor. I can take whatever task you have to throw at us. <sighs> well, at least this ought to be easier than the midterms. Here we go again. This one looks different from the others. Hold on. You noticed too, huh? Yeah. 
Color's different, shape's different, yet it seems similar somehow. The material, that's what's similar. Maybe... It, is something wrong? No. Here they go again. <laughs> well, doesn't this look like fun? Class one? What are they doing here? To what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? Class 1's combat training isn't until tomorrow. Oh, Instructor Thomas's class was changed to a self-study period today. So we thought it was the perfect opportunity for a little cross-class exchange, if you will. Class 7 seems to be the talk of the school lately. And we'd simply love the chance to get a little better acquainted. E exchange Judging by that rapier in your hand, I'm guessing you're not here to exchange pleasantries over tea and cookies. My, you're a sharp one, Schwarzer. Nothing gets by you. Why not try your steel against some real human opponents instead of that contraption over there? We'd be more than happy to serve as representatives of Class One. Allow us, if you will, to demonstrate the refined spirit and dignity of the Erebonian nobility. Huh. <laughs> you little pieces of... Cool your jets! They're just trying to goad us into a fight! I'd be very interested to witness this refined spirit and dignity you profess. Well... Looks like I found today's entertainment. All right, change of plans. Today's practical exam will be a friendly training bout between classes one and seven. The fight will be four on four with both arts and item use allowed. Reen, you'll be squad captain. So choose three of your classmates for your team. Roger that. Looks like you're all set then. Both teams, take your starting positions. <laughs> he may be a fool, but even a fool can be dangerous with a blade in hand. And I'm sure his lackeys are well trained, whatever deficiencies they may have otherwise. Make sure you don't underestimate them. Got it. Well, he is a member of the fencing club after all. <laughs> We'll see how cocksure he feels when we're through with him. Let's have a good fight, everyone. We'll now begin the training bout between our representatives from classes one and seven. Combatants, weapons at the ready! Begin! 
I'll show you what real nobility is. Here we go. All right, let's do this. All right. It's my turn. My turn! How about this? Yep. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Attack patterns. I've got it. It's my turn. Go. Right. How about this? Now. Here we go. There. Keep it up, everyone! Leave it to me. Leave it to me! How about this? Now! Go ahead! Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go you okay? Thanks! Go! Now's a chance! I'll pick you up! Right! Analyzing enemy attack patterns. I've got it! Yep! You okay? Thanks. Here we go. There. That's a chance. I'll pick you up. Come on. All right. They're open. Gotcha. 
Leave it to me. How about this? Right. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Analysis complete. Here we go. All right, let's leave it to me. Leave it to me. Whirlwind to me. It's my turn. How about this? Go. Gaia. Got this. Come on. Right. You up. Leave it to me. Whirlwind to me. This is absurd. Leave it to me. How about this? Go. Here. Here we go. Push down. I'll get you up. <laughs> It's my turn. It's my turn. How could I lose? That takes care of them. Team is class seven. The victory is ours. Yeah, we showed them. Not bad. A passable performance. <sighs> that was some fight. We won. We really won. How does it taste choking down your own hubris? This can't be happening. How could we lose to this... this rabble? <sighs> hey, that was a good fight. Pretty intense, too. You had us on the defensive more than a few times. If we get another chance sometime, how ab Get your filthy hands off me! me, Reed Schwarzer. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. <laughs> you son of a... Uh, that, that was uncalled for. The rest of you are no better. Did you somehow think Scoring highest on the exams would mask the fact that you crawled up from the dregs of society. What if you, Reinford? A family of upstart arms peddlers who think being flush with money is all the pedigree they need. And what if the Barbarian and your Jaeger taught? I'm surprised they could even read the enrollment forms. What the hell? I won't deny how the Reinford Company made its millions. Am I the Jaeger tot? What terrible things to say. Patrick? I think you might have crossed the line. Silence! You don't tell me what I can and can't say. How utterly foul. Enough of this. I'm not sure I understand. Maybe you can clear things up.
What is it about nobles that makes them superior to those who aren't? <coughs> Gaius? I won't deny that I'm not from this country. That's as plain as the nose on my face. Back in my homeland, we don't really have anything like your class system, so the concept is pretty foreign to me. Really, I mean no offense by asking, but I want to know what it is that elevates nobles above the rest of the people. The superiority of nobles is self-evident. We come from families of distinguished lineage built on generations of tradition. That gives us a dignity, refinement, and pride that those of common birth could never hope to possess. We represent the pinnacle of man's achievement. That is what makes us nobles. Hmm, I see. I've witnessed that dignity and refinement myself. I see it in how Laura and Eusis carry themselves. But that leads me to another question. I can understand the importance of tradition, lineage, dignity, pride. I get why those would matter. But where do you think they let you get off saying the kinds of things you did? Well, I... I... Gaius. Hmm. Patrick, I... I... I really think you should... Gaius raises an excellent question. I'd say this marks the end of our mock battle. Many thanks to the members of Class 1 for their gracious cooperation. Oh, and just for future reference, self-study doesn't mean wander around outside doing whatever you want. That goes for you two over there, too. Back to the classroom with you. Please excuse us. I've decided that for your combat training tomorrow, I'll be pointing out everything you did wrong today. I'll be giving you the full, shameful play-by-play, -play, of course. But I want you to really think about where you need to improve. <sighs> Very well. Excuse us. Patrick! W -w Wait for us! Oh, for a while there, I was worried that was really gonna get ugly. As far as I'm concerned, it already had. This is exactly why I can't stand nobles. Please, don't place me in the same category as that imbecile. Thanks, Gaius. That meant a lot to me. Huh? Not sure why you're thanking me. But whatever I did, I'm glad to have helped. Okay, that concludes this month's practical exam. Next, I'll be giving you the locations for your next field study. Oh, yes, it had almost slipped my mind. Where to this month? Everyone, take one of these. Hmm. Rionia Island. That's in the far west of the Empire, isn't it? Indeed. It's an island off the coast of Lemaire province, known for its ruins. However... The North Highlands are beyond the Empire's northeastern borders, are they not? That's right. They're out past Ruhr on the other side of the border. Since the Age of Antiquity, the Highlands have been home to a tribe of nomads. Yeah, now that you mention it. You're from the North Highlands, aren't you, Gaius? Sure am. We've actually made arrangements for everyone in Group A to stay at my home in our settlement. I hope you'll all enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Your rank's gone up! Here's a little something from the Academy. You did really well, Reen!
Still, I couldn't believe it when I saw Nord Highlands written right next to our names. I wasn't ever expecting our field studies to take us that far out. Well, it does make sense, since it's an important place in the history of the Academy's founder, Emperor Dracul's. Indeed, the Highlands are where he first began to solidify his military power during the War of the Lions. That's about the extent of my knowledge of the Highlands, to be honest. No worries. I'll tell you more about Nord on the way there. Anyway, I hope you're all ready for a long trip. The train ride between here and there is over eight hours. Eight hours? That's almost an entire day's journey. It sounds as though the experience will be more than worth the trouble, though. By the time we get there, it'll probably be evening already. You think we should go stock up on some snacks before we leave? <laughs> There'll be no need for that, Lady Lisa. Mm. Good morning, Sharon. We're almost ready to head out to the station. Oh, of course, of course. I hope you all have a safe journey. I would also be very pleased if you would accept this. What is it? I took the liberty of preparing some sandwiches for all of you, as well as a pot of lemon tea for each group. I'm afraid I wasn't able to fix a proper breakfast, so I hope you'll enjoy these on the train instead. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Such a thoughtful caretaker. We'd be more than happy to accept them. Oh, think nothing of it. Any good maid would do as much. Well, well, everyone sure loves you, don't they? I guess my objecting to you being here just made you work that much harder to cozy up to everyone else. <laughs> I would never dream of such a thing. Please have a safe and pleasant journey, my lady. I'll be counting the hours until your return. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. Hold on. You aren't plotting anything else, are you? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Yeah, if you say so. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Have a safe journey. <laughs> Please excuse us. The dormitory's in your hands while we're away. Uh, looks like Group A just took off then. Good morning, Lady Sarah. Would it have been too much to see them off if you were awake this whole time? Their field study begins the moment they wake up on the day of their departure. So since I'm responsible for grading their performance, I figured it was best to leave them to their own devices. I see. You make a valid point. Just one question for you. When will you be returning? Ah, you truly are perceptive, Lady Sarah. I suppose there is no reason not to tell you. I will be returning before my lady and her classmates do. That's as much as I can tell you. I see. Thank you. 